Hey, sneaky that's better tonight. With day two of Puppy Linux on the system. I'm really bad at accents. Okay, day two. What have we done today? Okay, what I've done, not a lot really. Well, quite a load, but I'm going to show you how to change some stuff. So the first thing I'm going to change is the bleeding wallpaper, because it's quite boring for some people. So I've downloaded some bits and bobs from the web. So I'll just click on this one and view it. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? So I'm going to choose that as my wallpaper. So all you do is apply, click on there, all done. Nice job done. A bit more soothing for me, don't you think? Well, I think it is, anyway. We go back to desktop settings, and we go down a bit more. We can choose the drive icon settings manager or the icon switcher. So we go to the icon switcher. Now you can switch all these different icons here. It's only a small amount, but remember it is Puppy Linux. You know, it's a small ISO really, 120 meg. You do have to download some other stuff. I'm going to choose the Puppy Gent or Gannett or whatever you call it. I'm going to click there and see what happens. There we go. OK. X starts again. That's a bit more snazzy, isn't it? A bit more nicer. A bit, actually, it's a bit KDE-ish, -ish, isn't it, really? Looks really nice on the desktop, though. So that's me desktop sorted. Lovely, like to see it. So next I'm going to go to do Puppy Package Manager or the PPM. I'm going to try and find some stuff here that I need to use. It's not in that one. I'm not telling you what it is yet. It's not in that one. Oh, there it is. Look. Now I've got a HP scanner, copier, printer. So really, I need some drivers. Well, it may be installed, but it may be not. But if it, there's no big idea or big deal to download the extras, just in case you change your printer at a certain date. So I'm just going to download all these stuff here. So click OK, yeah, that's me stuff there done. Nice. All done. Wait for the tango bar to do its stuff again. And, and, and. That's all right. Okay, that's it. That's all done. Click OK one more time. There's some scanner drivers there as too. This is a combined copier, scanner, etc. I might as well download them as well, just in case. It's not supported literally on the ISO, because it probably won't be. I mean, the one I've got here is only a couple of years old, but it may not be supported. So download the extra drivers, and you'll be all sorted in the end, hopefully. But we'll find out in a bit, won't we? So I'll wait for the Tango bar to go away again. Oh, by the way, let me get the blank bit behind the screen here. Don't worry about that. It's always happening pup for as long as I can remember. So it's just it's just there. You know, it just that's the way it does things. So yeah, that's all right. Now, if you've got another printer, try the Fumatic ones as well for additional printer drivers for like Lexmarks and HP, no HP, for Epson, etc. I'm going to go back to install. No, I don't want to go back to install. What am I doing? Go back to setup. Now, now as I've got the pup controls into it, I now have to find my way again because it's all changed from my original puppy to do my printer stuff. So that's not there. No, look, it's not there. Hardware. Ah, I think I find it here. The printer setup or the printer manager. Printer setup is good for me, I think. So we click on printer setup. Right, it's CUPS 1.4.3. I actually have never used this one. I've used the older version. So this is all nice and snazzy. The old one's really like old fashioned, so to say. So I can add a printer there or add in printers. Should I scan there or should I just get the printers? Will it find it automatically? No, it doesn't find it automatically. So what we're going to have to do is go and find it basically. So if we go back to home. And click on add in printers. Get there again. Right, get several options here. So what should we do? Find new printers. And click on there. Wait a couple of seconds. Ah, it's found it. Look at that. Super duper. Add this printer. Yes, yeah, okay. Do I want to share it? No, because this is a test machine. So I don't want to do any sharing. Continue. That's good for me. Now you, you do apparently you don't have to do this, but I do every time. Just scroll down to HP. And continue. Now we're going to do a lot of scrolling. A lot, a lot of scrolling before we actually find the one I want. Because there's so much in this file. Really enormous file with all these printers it covers. We, we, the, the, the trouble is, it, it's a legacy server basically. It's covering printers from nearly 20 years ago. Even the very first ones. Or, oh, I'm sorry, exaggerating there. 10 years ago. So it can support really old printers. So I'm just keeping scrolling here, keeping scrolling here, keeping scrolling here, scrolling. By the way, tonight's cider is Old Rosie. Mmm, nice. What they call down in the southwest is called Sleeping Cider. Arr, 
sleeping. So I didn't make you go to sleep. So I've only had one bottle of that. No, right. Okay, I'm still trying to find my printer. This is how big this file is. Look, I'm still scrolling down my desk chairs. I could be here a long time, couldn't I? Keep scrolling, scrolling. Oh, get F's. Mm. Oh, I'll get some options here. Several options. I don't want to go with. But anyone would be okay and it would work. At the end of the day, I've done it before in the old cups. So it should work in the new cups, shouldn't it, really, when you think about it. So mine's the old 4-2000, or sorry, 4-200 series. So I'll just click, what's that one? Or that one? At the 3.10.6, I think I'll have. We we'll click there, and we'll just go down on the page and add the printer. And there we go. All done. Super duper. Set as default. Well, of course I'm going to set default, but you can change some of the settings if you really want to. And that is now my default printer, whether I'm online or offline. Bearing in mind, you have to be online to do this. Yeah, I know how done on it, really. It has to be done, though. But yeah, it's all done. Now, I've done a test sheet as well. It does actually work. Nice. All done. Wow. Print this up. That took a long while, didn't it? Didn't like that one too much. Okay. So, next bit we're going to do for day two. What should we do? I don't know. We'll go down to menu. Because there's so much stuff to do when you first up your system. You need to get stuff done. Oh, yeah, LibreOffice. This is what I want to show you. Look, we do have LibreOffice on Puppy. LibreOffice free, even. Works really nice, actually. I was quite impressed. You know, I'm an Abbey Word freak. You know, I do like Abbey Word. But if you've got the hard drive space and you've got the process to cope with it, LibreOffice is there. And also OpenOffice is there, as I showed you before in the last video, from Dear One. So, yeah, that was all right. Okay, oh, what's good? it's a long one by the way, it's not a short one, it's a long one today. I've not actually installed too much more than what I showed you before. Oh, Xane, shall we see if Xane works? Now this is a USB one, because they're combined, so what we have to do, let's click on USB, and see if it finds it. Uh, yeah, 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 accept the license, it's due new, no worries. Accept, scan for the devices, and see what comes up. So we're waiting. Blimey, it's found the scanner. No problem. In the same device. I like it already. Oh, I'm in happy heaven at the moment. Now, on another note, to get this video out to you has been quite a bit of a process. It took a long, long time. But I'll tell you all about that on day five. Yes, day five. So anyway, it's found my scanner. So I can actually scan something. So what I'm actually doing now, I'm opening the scanner up. I'm putting something in. So we can scan it basically at the end of the day. And while I'm doing that, actually, I've just finished doing that, I'm going to have a little bit of a drink. And this one is water, by the way. Yes, a bit of water. So, anyway, it up. I'm going to acquire out my preview, my scan. So I'll just click there and we'll see how we go. See if it actually works. Because at the end of the day, I'm doing these videos to make sure that Puppy Lens can be used in everyday computing. So you can do everything you really want to do. Whether it will do what I want it to do at the end of the day is another thing. But for standalone stuff, it's already proved itself already. It can do everything you really want to do. You can watch videos, surf the net, do your printing, do your scanning so far, as you can see. Even your histogram. Oh, I love histograms. Do you like histograms? I like them. It does everything you want it to do. But as we go on in this series of days, you'll see if it can cope with doing stuff that I want to do, which is a bit more intensive. So yeah, oh, also I've installed Scribus. Now it's in the basic PPM anyway, and I think it's still in the quick pet. I'm not sure, it was before. Now Scribus is a um, desktop publishing program. It's been around for a long, long time. It does what it says on a tin. What more could you ask really? Nothing. It's better than all the paid ones really. Just use it. It does what it says. Lovely. I use it quite a lot of my, I do some um, flyers for my local area. So yeah, that's all right. Right, oh, I've done a lot here, yeah. I'm getting worn out. Oh, Google Earth works all right, yeah, don't worry about that, it's super duper. XChat I installed, as I told you before. I've got Raw here for my stuff. Blender 2.49, we'll come back to that tomorrow, I think. That's another one for tomorrow. But yeah, all right, doesn't install that, okay? Just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. Oh, it's okay, we're in the Fox. There we go, look, Firefox 4.0 Beta 8. Works really, really nice. As you know, I installed Chromium last night. I think the Fox works actually better than Chromium, by the way. 
but they are both in betas or they're in testing stage so no worries we'll see how we go I think more anything else but yeah all comes up alright nice I can't really complain about it although it just doesn't this doesn't seem oomphy enough to me but hey that's just me so we'll go to the Puppy Linux community page well we will do once I've put it in there there we go this is the latest release our kids are up again as you can see if you want to download 5.2 you can get it from here you can get it from quite a few places or distro watch you can get it from there it'll just redirect to anywhere but it's really easy to use as you can see really nice and easy now what else do I want to do well if I go over here look I've got plenty of stuff I've got audacity I can do my audacity stuff that's nice isn't it lovely nice bit of vocal audio stuff don't forget you might have to set up your, uh, your audio card to work with it but if you do have problems just mail me no no problem whatsoever but yeah audacity works nice well i've used it you're listening to me do you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah yes you're listening to me using audacity on puppy linux so that's how it works even with this usb microphone so go back to our sfs's a little of them as you can see we've got a virtual box here you're saying virtual box on puppy linux well yeah virtual box on puppy linux now i'm not going to do it today because it's quite a long download and all the kids are up using the internet and so i've got no speed so basically what we're going to do and we'll let it download and tomorrow we'll start with virtual box and yes it does actually work yes i actually tried it before i don't know the video of course people waste time you do the videos otherwise wouldn't it anyway sneaky linux going out i'll see you tomorrow Laters.